Remember that according to the fundamental theorem of algebra, every polynomial equation with complex coordinates and a degree greater than zero has at least one root in the set of complex numbers. Here, all real numbers and imaginary numbers together make up the set of complex numbers. A polynomial equation with degree of n will have n roots in the set of complex numbers. Descartes' rule of signs can be used to determine the number of positive real zeros, negative real zeros, and imaginary zeros in a polynomial function. How many zeros, and what kinds of zeros, does this equation have? 9x to the fifth minus 4x to the fourth minus 2x to the third minus x squared plus 5x minus 7. Well, according to Descartes' rule of signs, after arranging the terms of a polynomial equation into descending order, the number of positive real zeros, and y equals p of x, is equal to the number of changes in sign in front of each term, or is less than this by an even number. And, the number of negative real zeros, and y equals p of x, is the same as the number of changes of sign in front of the terms of p of negative x, or is less than this value by an even number. That all sounds very complicated, so let's actually try an example. Here we have our polynomial equation arranged in descending order of powers. First, we'll check the first part. The number of positive real zeros is equal to the number of changes of sign in front of each term, or is less than this by an even number. Here we have our signs for our six terms. It goes from positive to negative to negative to negative to positive to negative. So we have three changes, from positive to negative, from negative to positive, and then back from positive to negative. So we either have three positive real zeros, or one positive real zero. Because it is less than three by an even number, in this case two. So three or one positive real zeros. Next, the number of negative real zeros is the same as the number of changes of sign in front of the terms of p negative x, or is less than this value by an even number. So here we have p of x. We need to rewrite this equation as p of negative x. So we have 9 negative x to the fifth minus 4 negative x to the fourth minus 2 negative x to the third minus negative x to the second plus 5 times negative x minus 7 which simplifies further to negative 9x to the fifth minus 4x to the fourth plus 2x to the third minus x squared minus 5x minus 7. Now we look at the sign changes of this equation. Here we have two sign changes, from negative to positive and positive to negative. That means we have either two or zero negative real zeros. Here are all the different possibilities. We could have three positive real zeros, two negative real zeros, and zero imaginary zeros. Or we could have one positive real zero, zero negative real zeros, and four imaginary zeros. We could have three positive real zeros, zero negative real zeros, and two imaginary zeros. Or one positive real zero, two negative real zeros, and two imaginary zeros. This is according to Descartes' rule of signs. 